so let me start with the 25th shift one details so here is the information you can also see here it is for 99.9 .9, 220 to 225 marks will be required and for 99.8 215 to 220 marks and for 99.6 205 to 210 marks and for 99.4 195 to 199 marks for 99 180 to 185 marks and for 98 160 to 165 marks so one more thing i would like to inform you here that is i have gone through all day the paper analysis and after checking everything i am providing you the complete analysis that is the marks versus percentile for all the shift all day i will be considering here so now if you talk about 97 149 153 marks that is 149 to 153 and for 96 134 to 137 for 95 it is 122 to 125 marks and for 93 104 to 107 and for 90 it is 82 to 85 marks and for 85 62 uh, 66 to 68 marks and for 80 57 to 60 and for 75 51 to 54 and for 70 43 to 45 and for 65 it is 39 to 41 and for 60 33 to 35 and for 50 31 to 33 and for 40 percentile your marks would be 19 to 28 this is about the 25th uh, july shift 1 data and now i will discuss about the expected minimum marks uh, in, in order to be eligible for the advanced exams and it is for general 70 to 74 marks and percentile will remain for all the same because percentile not change marks will change de uh, depending on the type of paper that is difficult difficulty level of the paper so for general 70 to 74 aws 39 to 41 obc 41 to 42 sc 27 to 29 marks st 17 to 18 and if you are a pwd candidate you will be eligible if you have solved any one question so it is very simple here is 25th uh, uh, july sip 2 detail that is uh, uh, for 99.9 percentile 270 to 220 marks will be required and for 99.8 214 to 216 marks and at the last i will try to discuss the cutoff marks for the advance as well so for 99.6 208 to 210 uh, marks and for 99.4 uh, it is 197 to 201 marks for 99 178 to 180 marks and for 98 160 to 163 marks for 97 it is 150 to 153 marks and for 96 it is 134 to 138 marks so one more time i would like to inform you at the time of counseling process i will be guiding you completely so that you will able to join the best college and i will be guiding you for everything that is choice filling decision making document verification everything up to your admission is done and it is not only for josa or csf counseling but for other counseling other entrance exam that is based on other entrance examination counseling also i will be doing for you that is comet k k set a triple e or vit uh, already done manipal also already done so i will be doing the comparison between multiple colleges and also jack daily counseling will be coming for nsut dtu triple it daily igdtu w so there will be multiple option for you this year so i will be doing the comparison and uh, obviously you will be joining any one college and that should be the best because you are ready to uh, study for four years your parents is, is ready to pay the fee for four years of btech course and but the output after four years may not be as per your expectation if you will take the wrong decision now so for that only i am here to guide you you can contact me anytime after 10 am every day i will be available up to midnight and this is the unique feature of my guidance once you register i will be guiding you completely and i will be available for you all the time from 10 am up to midnight and you can call me any number of time for any duration there will be no restriction on that so if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box so let's continue that is for 95 120 to 122 marks for 93 103 to 105 marks for 90 82 to 85 for 85 it's 66 to 68 marks and i am providing you the detail after doing lots of analysis and it takes lots of effort to provide you all the data at the same time so please try to like and subscribe to the channel it's my request to you and for 80 56 to 60 marks 75 51 to 53 70 43 to 45 and for 65 uh, percentile 39 to 41 marks for 60 33 to 36 and for 50 it is 31 to 33 and for 40 it is 17 to 18 marks so this was all about the marks versus percentile data for july 25 sip 2 and very soon i will try to talk with uh, talk about 26 sip 1 sip 2 27 28 29 of everything so now let's talk about the expected cut of marks for the advanced examination so here is the information for general 68 to 70 one more time i would like to inform you percentile will remain same but the uh, marks will change depending on the difficulty level of the paper for ews ews 38 to 40 obc 39 to 48 41 sorry and for sc it is 27 to 28 and for st 16 to 17 and for pwd if you have solved any one question you will be eligible it is as simple as that this is 26 shift one detail 
that is marks versus percentile as well as the minimum marks to be eligible for the advanced exams and everything i will discuss here so please try to subscribe this channel so that you will able to check everything and now you uh, let's talk about the 26 shift one for 99.9 270 to 219 marks and if you are thinking it is very low marks how i can get 99.9 .9? i will i would like to inform you that getting 99 or 99 percentile is not easy and uh, those students will only get this percentile who have appeared in phase one also and who have done the two years of hard work and in phase two lots of students are from the board exams and after board exams and they filled the paper so it is not easy for them to score this mark so that's why you will able to get this percentile at 270 to 219 also for 99.8 213 to 215 for 99.6 28 208 211 for 99.4 197 to 200 marks and for 99 178 to 180 marks for 98 157 to 160 marks and for uh, 97 148 to 150 marks for 96 132 to 135 marks so one more time i would like to inform you during the counseling process i will be guiding you completely and don't think that i am requesting you or forcing you i am just informing you and providing you an option because most of the most of the student come after the counseling process and they were like i have done the mistake what should i do now nothing can be done after that that's why i'm informing you if you are confident enough you can do it by yourself or you can take the help of your parents if they have the knowledge about this field because you are going to do the btech once in a lifetime so why you will take the risk if you don't have the correct uh, experience you can take my guidance because class 11 12 syllabus will not work, work for you at the time of counseling process it is all about the experience and i will be guiding you completely and the unique feature of my guidance is that i will be available for you all the time from 10 am up to midnight every day and all the process it is choice filling college selection college comparison as well as decision making after each round document verification up to your admission is done everything will be guided by me once you register with my guidance there is a nominal charge if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number so for 95 117 to 120 marks for 93 100 to 103 for 90 80 to 82 for 85 63 to 66 marks and for 80 55 to 57 and for 75 48 to 50 marks and for 70 41 to 43 marks and for 65 36 to 38 and for 60 it is 31 to 33 and for 50 27 to 29 and for 40 it is 17 to 18 so this was all about the marks versus percentile uh, shift one uh, that is july 26 and now if you talk about expected cut of marks that is minimum marks for the advanced so for general 67 to 70 marks and percentile will remain for uh, remain same for all shift but marks will change depending on the difficulty for ETWS 37 to 39 obc 38 to 40 sc 26 28 st 16 to 17 and if you are a pwd if you have solved any one question in any shift of the examination you will be eligible for j advanced it is as simple as that so this was all about the 26 july shift one detail so now let's get started that is for 99.9 to 18 to 222 marks for 99.8 to 212 to 218 marks for 99.6 202 to 205 marks for 99.4 196 to 200 marks for 99 176 to 179 marks for 98 155 to 157 for 97 146 to 150 and for 96 131 to 133 i have done lots of effort by making uh, in making this data because i have done all the analysis and comparison of different ship after that i am providing you the complete information so please try to like and subscribe this channel 95 it is 117 to 120 marks for 93 98 to 100 for 90 78 to 81 for 85 61 to 64 for 80 52 to 55 for 75 46 48 for 70 39 42 and for 65 percentile 35 to 37 marks for 60 30 to 32 for 50 26 to 28 and for 40 it is 17 to 19 marks only so this was about all about the 26 save two marks versus percentile data so now let's talk about the minimum marks for j advanced examination that is category wise for general 68 to 70 ws 38 to 40 obc 39 41 sc 26 to 27 and for st it is 15 to 16 and for pwd if you have solved any question you are eligible so this was all about the complete information about 26 sip 2 so here is j means july 2022 july 27 sip 1 and 2 detail both are combined because both sip was having the similar type of difficulty level and it was difficult than other sip many other sip it doesn't mean other was easy other was also tough but this was a little bit tougher because math section was totally advanced level so that's why uh, that will have an effect on marks versus percentile so here is the information but before going for, for this video, I would like to inform you again that is at, at the time of counseling process, I will be guiding you completely. If you will, if you will join now or at the time of counseling, charge will be same. So whenever you want, you can contact me so that you will have the more more time to discuss with me everything so that you can take the right decision. I will be guiding you 
कॉलेज कंपेरिजन चॉइस फिलिंग डिसीजन मेकिंग एवरी थिंग अपू एडमिशन इज डन एंड नॉट ओनली फॉर जोस एंड सीसे बट फॉर जैक दिल्ली काउंसिलिंग कॉमेट के केस सेट ए ट्रिपल ई बीट सेट एवरी काउंसिलिंग वट एवर यू विल डू दिस ईयर योर स्टेट लेवल काउंसिलिंग एम एस टी सी टी एवरी थिंग सो दट यू विल एबल टू ज्वाइन द बेस्ट कॉलेज एंड देर इज अमिनल चार्ज फॉर दैट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट मी थ्रू इंस्टाग्राम और व्हाट्सएप नंबर सो फॉर नाइन टू And for ninety nine point four one ninety four to one ninety six marks, and for ninety nine one seventy three to one seventy seven marks, ninety eight one fifty two for one fifty five, and for ninety seven one forty four to one forty six, and for ninety six one twenty eight one thirty for ninety five one hundred fifteen one hundred eighteen, and for ninety three ninety six two hundred for ninety seventy six to eighty, and for eighty five fifty nine to sixty three. One more time, I would like to inform you for PWD candidate, I will be guiding you at half price. Other than because for PWD spend, I am having a special thing. That's why I am providing regular information. You can go to PWD playlist. There are lots of information available for you. I I understand the pain of PWD spend. They are having the problem in their body. Even after that, they are pursuing their study. So it is a matter of respect. That's why I am charging only half fee because it takes lots of time. So I have to take that. Uh, otherwise, not possible to handle lots of students. So please try to uh, consider that. Only then contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number. Thereafter, nothing to worry. Up to admission is done. I will be guiding you. No need to worry. Last year I have guided lots of students. Previous year also from three four years I am guiding the students. But uh, so now let's talk about for eighty fifty to fifty four seventy five forty three to forty six for seventy thirty seven to forty four marks and for sixty five thirty two to thirty five and for sixty it is twenty eight to thirty one for fifty twenty four to twenty seven. For 40 percentile, it is 15 to 18 marks only. So this was all about the 27 shift one shift two, both combined marks versus percentile data. Now let's talk about the expected cutoff marks for JEE advanced examination. It is minimum marks for shift one shift two, 27 July. So for general, 66 to 69 uh, marks and percentile will remain same. Nothing to worry. For EWS, 36 to 38. For OBC, 39 to 41. For SC, 24 to 26 for ST, 14 to 15 for PWD. If you have solved any question, you are eligible for. So this was all about the complete data of 27 SIP 1 SIP 2. That is 27 July session 2 of JEE mains examination. So here is the detail about SIP 1 SIP 2 uh, July 28. Uh, that is uh, session 2 examination of JEE mains. So let's get started. That is for 99.9 percentile, 215 to 220 marks, and for 99.8, 207 to 212 marks. For 99.6. Now one ninety six to two hundred marks, and for ninety nine point four, one ninety two, one ninety three marks for ninety nine, one seventy two to one seventy six marks for ninety eight, one fifty to one fifty five for ninety seven, one forty one to one forty six for ninety six. It is one twenty six to one thirty three uh, um, marks required, and for ninety five, one twelve to one twenty ninety three. It is ninety four to one hundred for ninety nine seventy three to eighty. Actually, this shift was a little bit tougher, not little bit, lots of tougher. Particularly math section, physics was also moderate type. There was some unique question in chemistry also, so it makes the overall difficulty a little bit more. For ninety seventy three to eighty, for eighty five fifty six to sixty, and for eighty forty eight to fifty three, for seventy five forty one to forty five, and for seventy it is thirty five to thirty eight, and for sixty five it is. 30 to 32 percentile uh, uh, that is uh, 30 to 32 marks and for 60 percentile 27 to 29 for 50 percentile 22 to 24 for 40 it is only 14 to 16 marks will be required so this was all about the 28 shift one shift two marks versus percentile data both shift was similar in type in term of difficulty both shift was difficult that's why uh, you have got very good percentile at less marks also and it will be reflected on the result day as well so now let's talk about the expected cut off marks for the advanced examination. So here is the information that is for category uh, category general 64 to 68 that is uh, marks and percentile will remain same it can be 84 percentile also this year but as the number of percent is low for uh, EWS 35 to 37 for OBC 36 to 38 in the bracket it is percentile for SC 23 to 25 ST 13 to 15 marks and for PWD only only one question is required if you have solved any one question. You will be eligible for J advance. It is as simple as that. So this was all about the 28 shift one shift two marks versus percentile and the minimum marks for J advance examination. So 29 shift one shift two data. So here is the information for 99.9 to 16 to 221 marks for 99.8 to 208 to 213 marks for 99.6 197 to 201 marks for 99.4 191 to 194 marks. That is for shift one shift two both combined. I am providing you there may be a little bit a little bit uh, variation in the difficulty level. But uh, overall, I think will be same difficulty level. That's why I am providing you a range of marks: 99, 173 to 178 marks, and for 98, 152 to 156 marks. And if you are thinking how I will get very good percentile at low marks, also as you also know, this time number of students is very low, and 
मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट आर हियर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम बिकॉज द स्टूडेंट हु विल गेट नाइनटी नाइन नाइन एट परसेंटाइल दो दलरेडी गॉट गुड परसेंटाइल इन सेशन वन बट द स्टूडेंट द यूनिक स्टूडेंट डेट कम इन दिस सेशन ओनली दो आर फ्रॉम बोर्ड एग्जाम स्टूडेंट आफ्टर बोर्ड एग्जाम दे है फिल द फॉर्म सो दे विल नॉट है प्रॉपर प्रॉपर कंसेप्ट और आई थिंक डोंट टेक इट पर्सनली I uh, I'm just providing you a regular in uh, that is general information. Most of the board of students will not have the depth in concept, so uh, they will not able to uh, score more marks in the examination. And if you are from board of students, you can relate it. But I'm not telling every student because some student from board of students are also having very good knowledge. That is the entrance knowledge. It is uh, board exam and entrance exam is completely different. So for 27, 143 to 147, for 96, 128, 132, for 95 percentile, 114 to 119 marks, and for 93. 95 to 101 is for 90, 74 to 82 for 85, 58 to 62 and for 80 it is 50 to 54 and for 75, 43 to 46 for 70 it is 36 to 39 for 65, 31 to 33 for 60 it is 28 to 30 marks and for 50 it is uh, 23 to uh, 25 marks and for 40 it is uh, 15 to 16 marks. This was all about the 29 shift one shift two marks versus percentile. And uh, I, now I will talk about the expected cut off marks for the advanced exams. And that is for general 65 to 69 marks and percentile will remain same. Marks will change depending on the type of paper. For EWS 36 to 38, for OBC 37 39, for SC 24 to 20, 25, for ST 14 to 15 marks. And for PWD, if you have solved any one question in any CPR examination, you will be uh, eligible for the advanced examination. So this was all about the 29 CPR and CPR complete analysis. That is marks versus. percentile as well as the minimum cut off marks for the advanced examination for all the category i have discussed so hope you get this information completely and every shift i have discussed 25th shift 1 shift 2 26 shift 1 shift 2 27 28 29 everything i have discussed so i hope you get this information very useful